precipice, cliff edge, uh, use your metaphor wisely there, Matt. Essentially, we've heard from Michel Barnier that he thought yesterday morning in Luxembourg that a, st a deal this week was still possible. His counterpart from the UK side, Stephen Barclay, saying that it is still very possible to get a deal. We heard from Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, talking about the idea that she would work to the last minute in order to get a deal. And then we heard late last night from the Irish Prime Minister, Leo Varadkar, that he thought that things were progressing in the right direction. Initial indications, he said, are that we're making progress. The negotiations are moving in the right direction. So that's the European perspective in the sense that we need to get that deal agreed in Europe, in Brussels over the next 48 hours or so. And then here in Westminster, some questions still remain about whether that deal, if Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, brings it back here for a vote on Saturday, would get support of a majority in the House of Commons. And that is still very much an open question. We've heard from members of the hardline faction of his Conservative Party over the course of the last 24 hours after meeting with the Prime Minister that they were happier with what they called a tolerable deal. But at least one member of the Conservative Party has come out publicly speaking to one of the British newspapers and said that he does not like the deal as it's currently emerging. And that will prove a massive challenge. Don't forget, Boris Johnson does not have a majority in the building behind me. So he will rely on opposition lawmakers as well as trying to keep as many of his own Conservatives and even some of that small Northern Irish party, the DUP, on side, Matt. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.